Hi everyone, A. Gondla here. Thank you for joining me for another review and for today we're gonna review the MS-06S Zaku 2. And this is the command vehicle for Char Aznabal. This model kit is a newly molded version of the high grade Universal Century number no. 32 with the same name, with better articulation and improved proportions. This kit includes an optional side skirts armor parts for better leg articulation and it uses the e-runner plate from the high grade Universal Century 151 or also known as the Zaku 2 Black TriStar. Looking at the cover art, the Zaku 2 here is actually in the Battle of Loom. If you're familiar with the series, that's when Char Asnabal got the nickname Red Comet. So he's using this um, mobile suit during that battle. So, so looking at the cover art, this is actually a Musai class battleship. And this is a shield for a GM or, or, or a Gundam. So this is a fairly new model which is released in 2020. And it's in July 2020 to be exact. And this model kit is actually in line with the 40th anniversary Gunpla. So looking at the cover art, it's really awesome. Looking at the side artwork, you can actually see the front and back view of the Zaku 2, which has the machine gun and the bazooka there. And for the actions, you could actually see the Zaku 2 with an open left hand parts installed so this is the left hand parts and on the right hand he's actually holding a hit hawk so with better articulation it shows the two different type of uh, side skirt so the soft type and the hard type and then here it shows uh, a new articulation axis on the wrist with the posing there with the Zaku 2 and the Bazooka. And so looking at the gimmicks, you could actually uh, see some gimmicks for the shoulder as well as the, the chest part and the hip parts there. I, I guess it's an improved articulation from the old Zaku 2. And lastly, the, the weapons. So for the weapons, you have the Hit Hawk, the Zaku Bazooka, and the Zaku Machine Gun. So looking at this side, it is actually the, the cover art. So the Zaku 2 is looking menacing there. And you have the number 234, which is the high grade Universal Century series number. And then looking at this side, you have a nice graphics here. I guess this is the shield for the GM2. Then the Zaku 2. With a short description regarding the Zaku S type here. So if you wanna read it, you can just pause it. And then the traditional warnings here. So that's the outside of the box for the Zaku 2. So if you're wondering, the size of the box is 30.2 in length, 19.2 centimeters in height and then eight centimeters deep so let's check how many packages do we have for this box we have bag number one we have the second bag the third bag And lastly, the fourth bag. So for this model kit, we only have four bags. And we have here the manual. So we're gonna open this in a little while. So let's start with the manual. So as you can see, it's a fairly standard manual. Manual with the Zaku 2 in front of the manual. And then you have the traditional specs in there so looking looking at the inside of the manual again it's a standard manual with the runner list 
the warnings as well as some additional information here and then when you open it you have the building instruction and then you also have the colored building instruction the Zakoto looks cool in here so with two-tone reddish magenta and orange color and then at the back you can see three poses that's uh, available to do as well as some short description in there so if you want to read that one i'm just going to do it here and you can pause it and then another artwork here which is similar to the to the one on the side of the box and a short description there as well so if you want to be more accurate you can see the color conversion here so i'm gonna zoom it in so that you can get the information and if you want to get them you could actually just pause them that's the manual for the zaku 2 next is the runner a so with the runner a you can get the military green color here as well as the orange darker orange and the maroon color so for the for the military gray you can actually get the base of the feet as well as the chest armor and for the darker orange this is the backpack and for the lighter orange you have the pipings in here and then for the maroon or reddish color you could actually get the side skirt armor which is the hard side skirt armor then we have the b runners so this is the b1 and b2 runner so b2 runner is just the duplicate of the armors for the legs that's a duplicate for the armors And the rest of the B2 runners or the rest of the B1 runner are some armor for the legs as well as the shoulder shield that is traditional or that is innate to the Zakus. You also have the head here as well as the other shoulder armor with the spikes. And then next we have the C runner which is the darker gray color and then we have the C2 runner which is a duplicate of the C1 runner half of the C1 runner so these parts are the joints for the arms and legs and then the rest of the C1 runner is part of the backpack the arms or the manipulator as well as some joints for the hips next is the D runner so this is a soft plastic and this part is the other option for the side skirt armor which is a soft part side skirt armor this part allows us a greater articulation for for the legs so you can swap it from the hard and the soft armor Lastly, we have the E runner. So it's also in the darker gray color, but for this part, it's all the weapons. So you have another set of manipulator there, the close manipulator and probably the trigger manipulator. And then you have the machine gun, the bazooka, and the hit hawk. Lastly, we have the foil sticker. So I'm really ecstatic and really happy to see that the foil sticker only includes the mono eye. So I cannot ask for more with that with that sticker. So that's the foil sticker. My final note for this kit is that looking at the runners, it seems amazing. And to add to that one, 
the sticker has only one sticker which is the mono eye also one thing that i noticed with this kit is that there's no pc parts included so every joints are hard plastic i'm really excited to see how does this look at the end when it's built but looking at the runners this kit is going to be amazing if you're thinking of getting this kit please don't hesitate and take it this kit looks promising and i'm really excited to build it if you really like this video and you find it helpful please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updated every time i release a video and once again thank you for watching